million dollars at stake. Here they come. Ready. Jeff Gordon brings him down. Green is unfurled. Spencer on the inside is down just one. Working to try and get it back. Gordon, Martin Labonte. Squeeze it down into that first turn. Kenny Schrader right there in fourth on the green, number 33. It'll be something to see him finally put one together. There you see Schrader up over the tunnel turn. Hanging right in there in the front of the field now. Schrader going at it. Earnhardt by him. Distanced him quickly. Gordon stays out in front. Here comes that first lap, and already oh. Gordon's working on an interval. Look at this. Three wide down through there. Rusty Wallace trying to pick, figure who he wants to draft with. He goes with Earnhardt on the outside. Now with Schrader back to the inside. Schrader and Earnhardt tangled here in June. Schrader went in the wall. Earnhardt apologized, said it was my fault. Schrader said not good enough. By Earnhardt. Wallace right there. Here he comes down to the bottom. And Ernie Irvin is in that crowd. Big time in the Skittles number 36. Schrader free and clear headed for the tunnel turn. Kenny Schrader, long time back, 1991, Dover, Delaware, 187 races since. Four Winston Cup checkers to his credit. Gordon stays first and stretches it to nine-tenths of a second over Martin with Labonte in third. All those caution laps that we had aided the guys who only took two tires. That worked in their favor. Evernham wanted cloud cover. He has it in turn one, but nowhere else. As you go down toward the tunnel turn, it's right back out into the sunshine. Car runs so much better with that cloud cover. The other thing he wanted was to be leading, and he's got that too. So Schrader stays fifth, Earnhardt in sixth. We'll check that interval between first and second, Jeff Gordon, as he works on his fifth win of the season. Here he is back to the line. And he picks it up a notch. He's widened it out to over one second to Mark Martin. And Labonte a little further back, another 15 car lengths. Gordon is there. Can anyone take it away from him? Refuse to lose. That's the theme of the Rainbow Warriors. Rick Gordon looking on, checking that watch, and watching that interval continue to build in favor of Jeff Gordon. 184 complete this time by of the 200 to be run. And that DuPont Chevy is clicking them off right now. Qualified second and has dominated here today in the Pennsylvania 500. Up on top in the points, and for good reason, nine top ten finishes in the last ten races this year. Third up there at New Hampshire two weeks ago in that event on the mile. With Jeff Gordon in points lead, what does Mark Martin say about that two-time Winston Cup champion? I, uh, you know, get tired of him winning all the races and would like to get my share. And fortunately this year, uh, that seems to be coming true with the Valvoline team and the, all these guys that, that we have assembled on this car this year has been really great. We've been able to contend with him. Uh, you know, that's what we want to do. Uh, and and uh, uh, I just want to be able to, to be in the hunt and to be a contender right down to the wire like we were last year. I, hope that I won't run out of time. If we can continue to do that every year, hopefully uh, my uh, driving won't expire 
before uh, a championship goes our way. Confidence continues to build on Mark Martin. He is such a good driver. Here he is in second spot. Four Winston Cup victories this year, as does Jeff Gordon. And that point battle continues to build and will all the way to the end of the season in Atlanta, Georgia. Now here comes Jeff, uh, Jeff Burton in the 99 as he closes in on Bobby Labonte. This is for third. Bobby Labonte, number 18, is your third place car. Right there you see Jeff Burton and just behind this pair comes Earnhardt. You can see Jeff Burton's windshield a little dingy right now. They do that. They pick up a lot of uh, sand pits uh, as they run along the 500 miles. That's not all dirt on the windshield. It's actually uh, almost like a sandblasting that happens to the windshield. We also saw that big bank of gauges. That's more gauges than the vast majority of guys have to look at. Roush likes to have his drivers have an opportunity to see a tremendous amount of information. I'll bet you he's not watching any of those gauges <laughs> right now. He doesn't care what that engine's doing as long as it keeps purring at near 9,000 RPM. Yeah, that, that would be a little bit like strumming through the dictionary or something out there, wouldn't it? Well, he's got some, inter they got some interesting stuff there. They even have a gauge that determines water pressure in case they have some sort of a leak in the water system. Uh, it's good to have all that stuff on board for diagnostic purposes, but right now when you're racing for position, none of that stuff matters. Holy Moses, I think my water pressure is down. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, well, whatever it is, Jeff Burton's flying right now. He's catching Bobby Labonte. Salt to go to the inside. Bobby Labonte pulled down just a little bit. They're racing very, very hard right now. And they are closing in on Mark Martin. They have moved in on him, but Gordon has moved away. Actually, he had them by about one and seven tenths. Now it's back to one and a half, 1.5. So Martin is inching back a little. Look at this struggle. Bobby Labonte in the Joe Gibbs Pontiac, and here comes one of those Roush Fords, number 99, Jeff Burton, whose brother has just been eliminated from this event in a harsh, hard hit down in turn one. Jarrett back into the top ten. Dale Jarrett keeps knocking away on this thing. Well, that crew deserves an award for plugging up the leak in Jarrett's car. Great job down there. Jeff Gordon has four wins in 17 races this year and his average finish has been a ninth over these 17 races yeah un unbelievable yeah well he was right around that same average finish last year and the year before that as well gordon and everham and the whole rainbow warriors bunch what a great team rick hendrick has put together you know this has got to be pretty good medicine for rick hendrick sitting at home suffering from leukemia trying to get his health back together again to see that team run as well as it's running today well, the kid he said would be the franchise is proving to be just that for another time here at Pocono, Pennsylvania at this time as we get down toward 11 laps to go this time by. I can see Bobby Rabani there on the outside. Wiggled just a little bit. Burton got the position as they went down through the short shoot. Unless there's a caution, we'll stay with you to the finish of this right here at Pocono. And remind you to come October, we'll be with you in Charlotte, North Carolina for the 500 mile there on that mile and a half. That's always such a good race. Oh, and it's such a great racetrack. Yeah, it is. That's a fun place to be. Now look at Martin. As he begins to feel a little more pressure. As Burton and Labonte close in. It's Burton up on that outside, inching away. You just don't get the feeling, unless you're sitting here in the grandstand, of just what kind of edge work this is. They are right on the edge of control every moment out here as we get down to the finish. Let it all out. Go for it. And you take it right to... And when you hear them talk about it after and about the adjustments they make on these cars, it's at that very edge. And that's why they are the drivers that they are, because they take them to the edge, lap after lap, and that's what the crowd loves.